always looking out to find something that may be of interest and today at my favourite boot sale at Wimbledon what should turn up but a Mazda low energy double D light never been used two of these were in the box or I should say there was two boxes both brand new I'm hoping it's going to work because uh, I haven't tried it yet 60 watt equivalent bayonet cap low energy the long life energy saving light bulb I know this these are several years old because they show an address which doesn't exist now when I say it doesn't exist the actual building let's, t let's turn it around the actual building that is no longer there it's Albany House Burlington Road New Malden Surrey that was the original uh, manufacturing of the Omega lamp they brought out a long lasting lamp it had extra supports uh, Mazda then took them over and through several name changes uh, GE Thorn Lamps now I think it, it's just GE we come to this lamp and now we're going to have a look inside and hopefully see if it works this is always always exciting I must tell you how much I paid for these as well there's the actual lamp and pull it out two of them came to the sum three pounds now you know why I like going to the boot sales and I have got a have difficulty getting this out of the box let's turn it over so what I should have done was to prepare one earlier I'm sure you didn't want to see a video of me trying to get into a box so if you'll excuse me I will prompt the camera down and take it out the box hooray we've got it out the box first of all we got the lamp itself now these double D's as far as I know are made in three sizes this is the smallest size you have your four, con uh, four contacts at the back because built into the light fitting is the starter these in fact were one of the first to have the ballast unit separate from the actual lamp and the ballast unit is here As you see, I should have definitely have taken all the bits off first. Brand new, new old stock I think is the term they use. New old stock. 10 watt, 240 volt, made in UK. The innards. Whoops, the bulb actually just plugs straight in. I'm going to end up breaking it, I know. I could do, do with another hand. Anyhow, that's it put into the ballast. The, the, uh, the ballast is quite heavy, so it is a magnetic one. It's simply a, a choke coil or a ballast coil. None of your modern electronics. Let's, let's see if it works. It might not even work.
We plugged it in. Let's put some juice on it. Oh well. It don't work. It don't work. Oh yes it does. <laughs> I thought I'd wasted my money. It just needed me to touch the tube itself. This uh, it just done that so it strikes. Let's see what happens again. I'm going to go take the plug out so it's actually get the full voltage straight away. I've unplugged it. Now we'll plug it in and you should see it start. Yes. Yes we're in business. I haven't been done. It's working. There we are. One tube working. Thanks for watching. Any comments please make. Any questions please ask. Thank you. And rate and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Thank you.